All right. Uh, here we're going to use the sine cosine tangent uh, to, solve a, to solve a triangle again here. So assume you have a right triangle. All right, so a right triangle. Uh, with an acute angle of 55 degrees. So uh, that's, that'll work for me. I'll call, uh, I'll call this one our 55 degrees. All right, so 55 degrees. Uh, if you know that the hypotenuse is 15 units long, solve for the other two legs. Okay. So to solve for, uh, you know, we'll just call this A and B here. All right, so to solve for B, I could use uh, sine of 55, because sine is you know opposite over hypotenuse. So I can do sine of 55 is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Okay. And then to solve this little equation, you just multiply by 15. Okay, so multiply by 15, and so 15 sine of 55 is equal to b. All right. Uh, again, make sure your calculator is in degree mode here. Yeah, I think when on your online calculators, you might have to reset that every time. I'm not sure. All right, so 15 times the sine of 55 gives us 12.29. All right, so b, this is equal to 12.29. Two nine. All right, and then for solving for a, so at this point I could either use tangent of fifty five. Tangent would be this one over this one, uh, or I could use cosine of fifty five. I'll use that one actually. So cosine of fifty five. Uh, that's going to be adjacent, which is you know the side that's connected to the fifty five degrees. So that's a over the hypotenuse. So cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. All right. uh, so to solve this, again, you just multiply by 15. So you're going to get 15 cosine of 55, and that's equal to your A. So 15 cosine of 55, you get 8 point, uh, we'll just call it 8.6. A is equal to 8.6. Right. Uh, again, if you wanted to, uh, you could have solved, you know, after you got this one, you could have used the Pythagorean theorem to do 15 squared minus this one squared is equal to that one squared. You could have done that. Uh, or you could have solved for this little angle over here pretty quick. Uh, that's just you know, 90 minus 55. So this would be a 35 degree angle. And then to solve for this, this side over here, you could have used sine of 35. All right. You could have said sine of 35 is equal to A over 15. All right. And that would give us the same answer, you know, times by 15 here. 15 times sine of 35. And you would have got the same answer. Lots of ways to do these.